first impression you get when you walk into our Milwaukee, Wisconsin wastewater treatment plant is the enormity of the operation. It's an incredibly large space which makes it perfect to not only process large quantities of waste and drums and totes, but more importantly, it allows us to have a multiple series of treatment tanks to recycle industrial wastewater. And that's great because it allows us to recycle millions of gallons of wastewater every year. But most people don't really know how that process works of converting industrial wastewater into clean reusable water. So let's take a look and show you how we do it. We're in our offloading area and when I filmed this, Jordan and Mark were in the process of receiving a machining coolant, which you see here. You can see the water is moving through a fine screen to help remove any solids. Now, this part is commonly thought of as the first step in treatment, but it's really a misnomer because what you didn't see just a few minutes ago is Jordan to my right pulling a sample from the truck. Now here's Jordan just a few minutes ago with that sample that he pulled. And what's really important about this is we want to make sure what's on the truck matches with what the weight certification statement says. Now we're in our on-site lab with Mike, one of our chemists, who just received the sample from Jordan. And he's going to run analytical and confirm that the sample matches the waste certification statement. And that's important because it eliminates the risks associated with surprises like hazardous constituents, cross-contamination, improper disposal, all of which are serious risks to our clients. Back in our offload area, what you might not notice is that this tanker is hazardous rated and it transports under vacuum with double valve protection. And that eliminates two risks for our clients. One, of leaking in transit. And two, it protects a client's liability if we pick up material that is supposed to be not hazardous, but after analytical, we find that it's really hazardous. Now, this driver, after he's unloaded, he's going to head over to our tank wash where he'll either get a rinse out or certified clean wash, depending on where his next pickup is. And the next spot for us is to head up to our catwalk to see how the treatment process happens. My ambition in taking you on our catwalk is to show you how flexible our Milwaukee operation is at bulk treatment of different type of waste streams. And that's important because the more efficient we can treat wastewater and varying types of wastewater like uh, oils, metals, organics, we can eliminate the risks of backups and service interruptions for our clients, which if they would occur would dramatically affect their production. What's happening here is I'm with Jordan on the catwalk adjacent to a large bulk tank that probably has around five or 6,000 gallons of wastewater in it. And what he's doing is performing a bench test to find out what the pH needs to be so we can remove the contaminants from it. And it looks like that number is 6.46. And so what we're going to do now is set up that pH reader inside the tank and begin pH adjustment to the wastewater. And that's either done by adding acidic or caustic solution to bring the pH up or down. Now as we do this, the contaminants start to clump up. They come out of the water, as you can see here. And we'll precipitate those contaminants out and we'll be left with clean, reusable water. When you treat wastewater, you are really generating clean, reusable water. And this is where that part comes to life. We are now off the catwalk and uh, we're down to the point where the contaminants have been removed and we've got clean water. And at this point, it's sent to the municipal water treatment plant. Here in Milwaukee, that's MMSD, where it will receive a final treatment and then it's gonna be returned to Lake Michigan, where the water cycle uh, starts all over again. And annually, we treat 70 million gallons of wastewater and it wouldn't be possible without people like Jordan and all the people at our plants that make what we do a reality for our clients. And I encourage anyone who wants to completely understand how their waste is being handled to visit us at one of our treatment plants and join us on a tour. And we hope to see you soon.